Today, we're going to be looking at our continuation of how to create document merge templates. We're going to be looking now at the creation of quote or order templates. That's when we're carrying out a merge in the context of a opportunity quote and an opportunity order. And we'll be building on what we've looked at already. So um, if you need to revise any of the concepts associated with the creation of document templates or how mail merge works already. Those are already up on the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be uh, looking at the uh, topic around the creation of a document template around quote and order entities. Uh, so this is really how to uh, how the merge takes place and understanding how that document template is constructed. To do this, I'm going to log on and start the process of a merge as a user. This is just to remind ourselves of actually what the user experience is. And to this end, I've logged on as Susan May. And here you can see that I need to now navigate off to find an existing quote. Now I can do that in the interface because I know that um, there's an opportunity here uh, underneath a uh, gate com. So this is one of the standard demo uh, opportunities that we have within the system. This happens to be a 120 user expense system associated with the company gate com. I know that has a quote associated with it. So if I look at the quotes, I can then look at that in detail and you can see these are all of the line items contained within the quote. Now, you can also see on the right hand side the action buttons and they include the option to merge to Word and PDF. So I'm going to choose the merge uh, to PDF button. And uh, this is where we see the templates that we can choose. Again, the templates can either be Microsoft Word documents or they can be uh, HTML documents. The same mechanism applies as to uh, general templates for the merge process. Now I've chosen an HTML template and you can see that there's a special merge tag at the top of the document. This is, we've looked at the idea of the merge fields in the previous videos, but you'll notice that there's a special tag at the top marking out the nested region for the quote. Now, the quote and order merge templates are special because they draw their data from two views. It works on the idea that there's a header record and we'd get a single header record and then data repeated from a nested child record. So in the case of the uh, merging of quote and order merge templates, we have a header record from the quote and then the quote items where there may be many of them, that's the nested child and they may be repeated within the context of the template. If I scroll down, I can see where the fields are being used. These are the standard merge fields that we've explored in a previous lesson, but this is where we can see the nested child area. Now I'm going to talk more about this when we come to both the merge process and also the creation of the template itself. But right now, so we are experiencing as the user sees it, I'm just going to click the action button, merge and continue. So the merge is taking place and you can see that that's finished. And in this case, I'm going to uncheck the create communication button and then click the continue button. Now the merge was completed. We've been brought to the communications tab, uh, whether or not we chose to create a communication. Um, we're in the context of our quote, of course. There's no document listed here. We have to go to the documents tab to see that. So I've clicked onto the documents tab and I can see that we've got our one document listed here. And if I click on the paper clip in the first column, uh, the finished document will display in a new browser tab. So I've clicked that and you can see very clearly the merge has been carried out uh, and we can switch back to the, cat, uh, to the tab containing the Sage CRM screens.
Now, what we can see is I've highlighted uh, the name of the file, and we can see the way in which the file has been named. Now, if I zoom in, I can see that the merge file has a default naming pattern. Uh, we see that the use of the template uh, is specified, panoply sales quote, and then there's a number. And that number is a random generated number, but although it's clear which template has been used, the trailing number doesn't provide much information. You can start to imagine that if this got detached from the context of this and perhaps just uh, handed around, you won't know necessarily looking from the file as to which quote it was associated uh, with and which iteration or version of the quote it was also associated with. So system administrators are allowed to be able to control the pattern of naming for this and uh, be able to have the, uh, the generated documents follow the pattern of naming that you can see actually above where quotes, when they're generated, there is a quote reference that is uh, generated as well. That's where you can see QT hyphen six slash one. And that follows a particular quote pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little di diversion now to actually look at how those patterns are created and how we can control that ourselves and use that uh, inside our merge documents. So if I switch over to an administrative account, um, I'm going to be able to set a new pattern. I, this is done as an admin user, and I'm logging on into a new browser tab as the system administrator. I then need to switch into the admin screens. So I just need to select administration. And then I'm in the administration screens and you can see uh, right now I need to select data management. Now notice I'm not going into the email and documents area. Um, within the broad topic of what we've been looking at over the last few lessons, you might assume that I would go into the email and documents area. This is all an exception where it's behavior inherited from association with the generation of the quote. And so that's part of the product uh, de uh, definitions, which we would have inside data management. So I'm going to go into uh, uh, now where we can see that we're in data management and I need to go into the products. Um, and this is where we go off into the option product configuration. Now, this is the screen that allows us to control the quote and order format and whether that quote and order format should then be inherited by the merge documents. So I'm going to click on the change button. That's the action button on the right hand side of the screen. And I can now set the quote format. But to do that, let's zoom in on this part of the screen. Now you can see that I have got the default quote pattern set on QT hyphen hash O hash N, or rather oblique hash N. So this is looking at the opportunity and the number of the quote within the opportunity. So if I just look now at this slide, this slide is telling me that there's a whole set of different merge characters that we could use. Ours happens to be QT as the literal string, hyphen, hash, O, slash, or oblique, hash, N. So this is looking at the opportunity ID of the parental opportunity and then the number of the quote or order within the opportunity. So we could change this in any way that we liked. So we could have quite a complex uh, convention of naming quotes and orders that include the user ID as well, uh, perhaps even the uh, user logon to be a little bit more 
um, human understandable. But that's all under our control as a system administrator. And if we go back into CRM, uh, you can see uh, we can choose whatever pattern that we like. We can change it and then save those options. Now, I'm leaving them the same as uh, the default, but I am going to change so that the merge documents will follow that pattern and use uh, the quote format and the order format for the generation of documents. And I'm going to click Save. We can test this in action. Now, to, to test this and look at it in action, then we're going to switch back into our user account. And we saw that the merge pattern um, wasn't used in this example. It's just a random number uh, uh, tacked onto the end of the template name. So I'm going to start another merge. So I've clicked on merged documents, uh, merge PDF, and I'm going to select the same template again. And you can see in the merge start, I just need to click the uh, action button merge and continue. And the merge continues is it takes place and I've unchecked the create communication option again and then click continue and then again I'll change over to the document tab where I see the new document is named following the pattern um, and I'm going to zoom in and have a look at that in a little bit more detail so uh, the generated document clearly tells us which template is used but also which opportunity ID that the quote is associated with so we know that for example, in the in the example here is that this letter uses as a, is a panoply sales quote. That's the template, and QT is there reminding us that it's a quote one hyphen six. That's the opportunity ID one is the version of the quote associated with this. So it's the first quote for this opportunity. There's quite a lot of information there within the name of the file. If I highlight the name of the quote, that re-emphasizes that. I just need to now zoom back out and we can continue looking elsewhere. So we can now have a look at how one of these templates is created. So in order to create a new template, uh, we have to decide what type of template are we going to do? We, are we going to create a um, are we going to create a HTML template or are we going to create a Word template? Now, I'm going to create an HTML template. We looked, we've looked, we looked previously at the creation of Word templates and the conversion of Word templates into HTML. That's still all valid. You can do that in this context. I'm just going to do it as though we were creating it inside uh, inside Sage CRM so that I can look at the idea of the creation of a private HTML template, which is then made into a publicly accessible template. So back, we're looking at our existing documents. I'm going to start the merge again. And I'm choosing this time, not an existing template, um, I'm going to instead click the action button, create template that. So this is on the right hand side, just below the filter button where it says create template. Click that and a new template definition screen has opened up. I need to give uh, the new template a name and a description. And because this is a quote template, it's going to draw on data from a header view and then another view to provide the child data. So a quote has a header record and then the quote items are going to be used as the, the body that repeats inside that. So this is the idea of a nested merge. And so I'm going to insert the nested region. Now, this assumes, the nested region always assumes that we're dealing with, with these two. So we have, if we notice what I've just done by clicking in that little button, uh, insert nested region, you'll see that we've got a, a pair of 
um, pair of merge tags called table start and table end. So one set of tables start and table ends is embedded inside uh, the outer one of table start and table end. Uh, and if I click the source, we can see the raw HTML that is used in this template. Now, because this is an HTML document, I can either uh, carry on using the, the WYSIWYG edi editor that is provided for us, or I can actually start with another third party tool to create uh, an HTML template. And there are several uh, mechanisms that we can do to, to generate our own email templates. But uh, let's assume that we're building our uh, page and then um, in my case, I've just written some HTML outside. I've cheated. Uh, what I've done is I've just copied in some HTML to form the header area of the document. Now, this is still looking at this in HTML view if I, uh, or source view. If I turn that source view off and go back into uh, the, the standard um, WYSIWYG <coughs> editor, We can see that uh, that the this clearly contains the merge fields. So these are all the header records. Every field in the outer table start and table end tags come from the header record, and that's in our case this is the quote table. And if we look now at this slide. This is reminding us that every merge context draws from very specific views. So the quote is drawing the data from two views, V male merge quotes and V male merge children quotes. And the V male merge quotes is the header record and the V male merge children quotes is the child or details record. Uh, and what we can uh, do in this particular case, you can you can change those views inside Sage CRM in order to be able to extend exactly the information that is uh, enclosed within that. So you could carry out um, if if your views were carrying out some um, calculations on the data to create a derived or a calculated field, they could then be included either in the header or within the repeating body of the interior nested merge. So back in the template, now we can see how we can edit the template to account for the child records. So we've we've got our um, end bit, if you like, of where we need to uh, enhance this. So if I go back into the HTML source, I can paste in some more code to provide that detail structure. And this is what I've just done. I've also carried out a search here to see where everything ends. So this is where I'm looking for uh, the table end tags within the completed document. We have to make sure that we have one table nested entirely within the other. We can see how this looks then if I leave the source view and return back. Uh, in order to see this properly, I'm going to have to scroll down to see what I've got. Now, you'll notice that the information from the quote items child records, which come from this other view, repeated view, uh, the records have been included within a table. And this is highly recommended. You need to have a structure that can easily repeat when you have multiple child records. And so um, what I need to do now is to scroll back to the top in order to save this, our template. Now, I am creating this as a personal template. So it's a local template. I can now click the action to save it. So this is one user who has created a brand new uh, template. And if, watch at the top left. Do you see where it, there is a field which says quick quote template? 
and it's in edit mode. Now, if I save this, if I click the save button, you'll notice that the file name now has been switched to read only, and it's named fully as quick quote template dot HTML. So I can now use this. This is saved as my template, and I can now carry out the merge, and I need to click the action button merge and continue. And the merge process continues. And we're back looking at the completed merge screen. And again, I've not saved the communication. I'm just going to click continue here. I'm back onto this empty quotes communication list because I've not saved any communications with those, but they are all ended up within the documents area. So I've seen my new document, I've seen my new file. And if I open the document, I can see the completed merge. Now, personally, as I look at that, I think I should have changed the, the typeface used within the document. But I do know now that I can go back in and I can change that inside this HTML template. But this is my template. So as one user, I've done this, but how can every user be able to use this template? How do I move it and make it available for everyone? Well, if I switch into the administration screens. So here I've switched tabs and I'm looking at Sage CRM as the system administrator. You can see that I'm looking at this administration, email and documents and document templates area. And you should be able to see here that my new HTML quick quote template is listed at the top of the templates. And if I click the name, I can edit the properties of this file. So if I click, um, you can see that this is a private template just in the middle of the screen, just about just off center to the left. You can see it says private, yes. That means I could only use it. It's private to me as a merge, but I, what I can do is I can then change that to be no or none. I can either set it to be null, none, or no, and then save it. And then the template then becomes available for all users. We've covered what I wanted to set out to cover. We've looked at the creation of the quote and order templates. We've looked at how we can create an HTML template how the views are used to construct the different parts, and then how once the view has been created, uh, how the template has been created, we can also change the settings so that the merge document follows the correct format. And we've also had a look as well at how we can go ahead and uh, make a private template something that is public so other users can also use. Let's see if we've got any questions. Thank you very much, everyone. Goodbye.